on guys this is pvz fabmaster and today i finally have a good set three plant deck to show you because mostly i've just been playing zomblob and freaking uh quick draw con man decks but i have found a good plant deck to run and it is of course a variation of the good old tempo captain combustible which some might argue is still a set one deck but whatever uh you play your straw in turn one, turn two things, hopefully with those two. If not, it's fine. We're running four copies of Umbrella Leaf, actually. They combo pretty well with Lily of the Valley, and they help protect uh, your other plants. And uh, Great Power, I actually crafted two of these. They actually work very well with your Peat Moss, in addition to all the tricks Captain Combustible has. Yeah, you could also like maybe do one of these. You can grow it up. But you basically, you use Great Power on something you've already grown to make it like huge. Like, if you place it in one of these things, you can end up probably OTKing them, maybe. But, Muscle Sprouts and this are good for tempo, of course. Those are just set one basic combos. And I only have two Bananasaurus Rexes, but if I had four, of course, I'd put them in this deck. But, that's the basic rundown, if, in case you're unfamiliar uh, with Captain Combustible's powers. This would make a Repeat Moss get plus four attack, and it would do a bonus attack. This is crazy, that's crazy. Basically, they all work very well with Repeat Moss. So that's the basic rundown of the deck. Hope you uh, hope you enjoy what we're about to do here, because I was like uh, playing with this earlier and it wasn't that successful with for me, because I put in like uh, crow magnolias. But I think uh, great power makes a huge difference. But as we all know, with great power comes great responsibility, and you'll see that in action too. But <clears throat> it really helped the deck shine a little bit. So. It's, it's better. I've gone 4 0 with this variation of the deck. Crow Magnolia just doesn't work as much. So, get rid of this. Uh, sure, let's keep it. Blooming Heart's good turn 1 against Super Brains. No early removal, so. There you go. And I'm gonna put my face down here. <clears throat> there we go. Hopefully, get a 2 drop. No, okay, well, we might grow the Blooming Heart then. Uh, but do we play around Chop? Nah, we're not going to do that, so. Yep, there you go. Just get, let's go, let it keep on attacking. He might have Chop in his hand, so in case you're unfamiliar, if it has five attack or more, it destroys your little Blooming Heart. And we might have grown it, so we decided better of that. Okay, well those two trade now, so I'm okay with that. We're placing, we're facing a rank 20 here, so not exactly the most high octane competition, I guess. Anyway, probably play Bananasaurus Rex this turn. Mm-hmm. We already got him down to 12 health. Uh, this goes right here, I guess. Okay, Trevor Zombie, Rocky Raccoon, as I like to call him, after the Beatles song. And, okay, there you go, that's, that gets trapped. Alright. Oh, no! There it goes, there goes my banana. Well, that's alright. We still got the Muscle Sprout on the board. Everything is looking okay. We, we could do this and actually kill him. Ah, never mind. Alright, here's how we actually kill him. Wait, does this... No, I don't think this works quite yet. This is almost lethal. 7 damage against an 8 health block meter. Wait, I just realized I should be playing around chop. No, I'm such an idiot. I was doing it earlier, but why not now? Okay. That's okay, we're alright. We are A-OK. -okay. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Uh, do it like this. There we go, it takes out the paparazzi, so we don't have to worry about that. And um, we're looking to maybe do- oh no. Alright, is the comeback real? Whew. All right, this guy might be playing a budget blob deck or something like that. I don't, I don't even know what he's doing. 
Alright. Okay, do we have lethal here, like right here? Hold on, let's think about this. Let's think about this. So I play this. Do that. And just don't have a rocket and we're good to go. Because he played chop. That's lethal. That, my friends, is lethal. Muscle sprout, and you did. So we didn't even need our uh, big 5-5 five -five environment to do wonders for us there, but we got him anyway. There you go. Soon we'll see the repeat mosses in action, because when I've been winning with, those, with this deck, the repeat moss is your real win condition here. You can move with other ways like I just showed you, but the repeat moss, oh boy. Very good with great power and all that kind of stuff. So we're placed, facing rank 34 here. Graham 777 was his name? It was Neptuna, huh? Neptuna is pretty good against this deck because of like gravestones and stuff, but we got answers like Berry Blast, so it can, this can hold its own, this, uh, Tempo Combustible can hold its own against the Sneaky class. Uh, there we go. Sneaky class is still very good, even though the Brainy class has gotten a lot better because Zomblob, but, you know. Anyway. <clears throat> there goes that. We maybe should, Do we have a Berry Blast in our starting hand? If so, we should have held on to it. So we throw a roll of three, that's nice. Oh, there's Berry Blast, nice. Nice, 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 nice. You're dead, you're dead, come on. No, you're dead, yay, okay, cool. You are now dead. Okay, Black Hole. That's bad, because our only environments come in the late game, so. Maybe we just play Muscle Sprout here. Probably. Ooh, that thing. I've come across that thing. We gotta out tempo him at this point then. We can't just sacrifice the muscle sprout because it'll die. So the, the tempo battle has started. Alright, so he rolls double threes. Even though it is three and a two. Whatever. Okay. Here we go. It's all about out tempoing him. It's all about that. So this is one way we could do that. Another way we could do that is this. So that interplanetary gladiator just cannot do the trick there. Never mind. Yes, it can. Forget how OP that combo is sometimes. And then that on top of it. Are you kidding me, man? Are you bringing Guinea me? Okay, so this card is broken. The, the Hardy class is actually the most broken class. Forget freaking Zomblob. Oh my god. This is actually the most broken class. We might want to replace this this turn, especially if he makes a big commitment. Uh, but Neptuna's got those uh, little cost environments. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do, guys. I just don't know what to do. We don't do that, do we? We'll just have this do bonus attack. We're just trying to get these things down. We're trying to cut them down to size. <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies heroes jokes. They're hilarious. Tell me that they're not hilarious. They are. Ugh, I hate it. He's drawing more cards and making them more powerful. Okay. Uh, we'll use this later on the repeat moss. So that gladiator's dead. We're looking okay now. 
I mean, he's still drawing lots of insanely uh, grown cards, but that we're probably about to see like right now, but we're still looking okay, I think. I still got hope. Here we go. This is why. This is why I still got hope. You ready, guys? You ready? Wait a minute. We Do we have lethal right here? Yes, we do! Oh my gosh! Four and five, that's lethal! <laughs> Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Get wrecked, you freaking Stompadon user! Oh, and he rolled double threes too. Wow, he could have survived, but no. Repeat Moss gotcha, buddy. Repeat Moss gotcha. You're you're never you're never dead with you're never uh, safe with Captain Combustible, I should say. You could always get that repeat moss and freaking super combo, and then you're just done. You're cooked. Oh my gosh, that was quite a uh, I'd say a comeback right there because we had to deal with all those gladiators, but the muscle sprats took care of them, and then just repeat moss them to the grave. Uh, sure, I'll keep this. I shall keep that. Now, we're going to start off a little slow, but it's okay. Maybe if she makes a turn one play, we'll play Umbrella Leaf. But probably want to combo with Lily. Yeah, we're going to start off a little slow. They had a bit of a slow start, but... Plants vs. Zombies here is slow and steady, doesn't really win the race, but <laughs> you don't have to be slow and steady with this deck. So I play our Lily, because even if she uses her superpower, it's not going to take that out. So what will she do? Whatever will she do? Nothing. There you go. Alrighty then. So I'll probably play our Umbrella Leaf on the top. And then, that's probably about it. Our hand is looking kind of garbage right now, but that's a okay. Because we've still got repeat mosses and all that good stuff, so. 2-3. Immortitia can't really take that out, right? No Wrath, no Rolling Stones. Nothing really to worry about. Okay, we might gr we're probably gonna grow the uh, Lily of the Valley now, actually. So make that classic tempo play. Ooh, ooh, spooky ghost. That's actually become a good card, though. That has legitimately become a good card. And we're gonna save the rest of this for the repeat moss. So yeah, here we go. Once again, no Rolling Stone, no Plumber here, so don't have to worry too much about old Immortitia taking out Umbrella Leaf. Okay, so there's our, uh, there's her, uh, bats, which are not amphibious, even though PopCap said they were. Makes me a little triggered, but whatever. Anyway. We might actually Great Power and Bonus it down. Never mind, I was gonna say that'd be a great play against, uh, for the Gross Room. But, you know, can't always have good things in life like that. We're actually going to keep, save that. We're going to save it. This is, this has untrackable, so I'm not too worried. If you play Space Cadet, won't take it out, so. I don't know what you're going to do, Amartitia. I don't know what you're going to do. She probably has something that'll do it, but I don't know. Just my luck, right? I don't know. <clears throat> Acid rain. Oh, that and Space Cadet. Oh, wait, no. It's the untrickable, I forget. The untrickable, it, it does not work on the repeat moss. Doesn't work. Okay, so there you go. There's that. We're still looking to great power. Like I said, though, if he leaves that lane up, I don't know. We might want to great power the freaking uh, thing and then... Okay, We'll see what's going to happen. We'll see what happens here. Okay, double great... Pa we'll see the play. Okay, we'll, we'll see what he does, and then we'll play accordingly. I'm always, I'm stressing out on how I want to make this epic, but... We can make it epic, guys. Trust me. Okay. 
It's on blob, huh? Don't you think that's a bit early, buddy? Guess not. Okay, here we go. Zomblob be nimble, Zomblob be quick. Here we go. Oh wait, no, it's just great power here. And great power here. Well, we could have bonus attacked that. Would have put him down to one health. Actually, that would have done it, I think. But anyway, if he bonus attacks that, it's okay. We still have 16 health, so... Did we misplay that, though? I don't think so. These two still have untrickable, so I think we got guaranteed lethal here. I think. I'm not sure, but I think. Okay, so that heals. Oh, no. We might not have guaranteed lethal now. Okay, there's the bonus attack. Just don't roll double threes. There we go. We got him. Kaboom. That's lethal. We're three now. And we looking A-OK -okay here, guys. Looking A-OK. -okay. So there's the repeat moss. There's the uh, great power. We're going to play one more game and see if this deck truly is unbeatable. Because I'm 7-0 and with this iteration of the deck. This current incarnation. This version of the Tempo Combustible. That I am very much liking what I've built here. So come on, search for me an opponent. There we go. Okay, so rank 47, super brains. Here we go. Tempo Captain Combustible is still a good deck. Still one of my favorites. It really is maybe my favorite plant deck out of all of them. I really like it. No, uh, I usually like playing this deck with, uh, what's it called? Potted Powerhouse, but Repeat Moss... It just works with your great power, so it just works. Plain and simple. I don't know why I was running like Crow Magnolia earlier when this has such such much better synergy. Did I just say such much better? It has such much better synergy. So he's trying to out tempo us with that. We don't have Berry Blast, which sucks. That would have been really good to have right here, but So he's trying to out tempo us, but <laughs> I don't know if he could do it. I think he is right now, though, but... I don't know. Don't you dare out-tempo us. Okay, so he's gonna draw us cards. This moves away. That's good. We want that 5 damage to hit him right in the face. Wait, Grape Power and Bonus Attack is looking insane next turn. Just don't... Okay, well... Great power bonus attack. I'm, are you guys seeing it? I'm seeing it. Great power and bonus attack. Are you guys seeing it? I'm seeing it, alright. I'm seeing it. Okay, we might OTK him right here. This is insane. Just don't play a gravestone in front of it. Please don't do it. No! You gotta be kidding me! Oh my god. Okay, so untrickable this. And here. This is gonna move to the lane. Here. And. Oh no. Okay, we, we just gotta survive here. We rolled well there, that's good. 